There's definitely been a boom in the last few years of Spanish tapas bars and restaurants here in Singapore, which is great news for foodies like us looking for something new. I'm Chris, and on this episode of Come Let's Eat, I'm on a quest to learn more about true Spanish cuisine. Joining me today is Spanish native and Spanish language teacher, Cristina. Let's go! Hola! Hola, Chris! Hi, Cristina. Hi everyone, we have Cristina here. She is a Spanish language teacher and today we are here at Milagro to try out her, some of the great Spanish food that they have on offer. Let's go! Si, sí, vamos! We are here at Milagro, a Spanish restaurant that serves home-style Spanish cuisine. But before we dig into any food, I ask the question on everyone's mind. Christina, when people mention Spanish food, mm -hmm. the first thing people think about is, oh, it's tapas. So right. what exactly does tapas mean in Spanish culture? Okay, tapas is actually um, uh, a way of socialising. For us, the, the objective is not just to go out to eat tapas, mm -hmm. but to get together. And while we are together in a good company of friends, family, then we enjoy ah, our food. Okay. And so tapas are small, uh, small portions of different dishes. Ah, I see. Strangely, I don't know how did the term come about actually. Just curious. <laughs> yes, well, there are many stories. Yeah. Um, and nobody knows exactly the main story, but one of the commonest is that in the old times, uh, when men used to go to drink uh, beer or wine to the taverns, um, they they used to, obviously there was no aircon, yeah. so um, flies will easily go into the drinks. Ah, so in a way to stop the flies to go inside, um, they decided to use some kind of cover. So tapa means cover in Spanish. Ah. And so uh, they started using a piece of bread mm, to put okay. it on top of the, and then the idea was to, on top of this bread, why don't we just try and put something else and then we eat it at the same time and so that's how Oh, so that's happens. why it's always normally eaten with drinks, right? That's right, correct. I see. Okay, that's interesting. So now we have some tapas here, so let's try it out. Let's go. We start with the pan tumaca con jamón, a classic tapa of sliced baguette topped with garlic, tomato and olive oil. If this sounds familiar, it's because pan tumaca con jamón is similar to Italian bruschetta, except it also comes with Spanish ham. It's a really refreshing taste because I like the very simple flavours of just the tomato on bread. It tastes like exactly what the ingredients sound like. Yeah. As you can see, there's just a piece of bread. Mm -hmm. What we do is, we take a piece of bread, we pour some olive oil on top, a bit of salt, and we cut half the tomato mm -hmm. and we rub the tomato juicy part against the bread and that's it. Oh, wow, very it's simple. like a very simple Italian bruschetta, but Something Spanish like that. version. Exactly. Okay, so here, you know, it's uh, at uh, Milagro, they serve it with uh, hamon ham. The ham itself is actually slightly uh, stronger tasting than most hams because hamon ham, as I understand, is actually um, cured or dried aged for a longer period of time as compared to other hams like uh, Italian parma ham, for example. So it gives a very straight mark, strong flavour that goes very well with the tartness of the tomatoes. So can you tell me more, like when is this dish eaten? Is it eaten at a specific region or a part of a day? Yes, no? it is a popular uh, choice for breakfast ah. in some yeah. regions of Spain, yeah. such as Catalonia yeah. and okay. um, the entire south of Spain. I see. Next up, SK Shada. A Catalan salad of shredded codfish with onions, tomato and olives. The name of the dish comes from the Catalan verb esquixa, which means to tear or shred. Mm. This kind of reminds me of ceviche. The Peruvian like sort of seafood cocktail is a very nice balance of um, citric flavors, tart flavors, along with um, the saltiness of the fish and the olives. Uh, I think they use salted codfish, which is cured, 
And um, so Christina, can you tell me more about this dish, SK Shada? Yes, uh, you can see it's a very simple dish. Um, actually, it's mainly eaten in the summertime because uh, it's cold. Yeah. Okay. And, but normally, the cod fish should be shredded with the fingers mm -hmm. in order to get the right texture. Oh, I see. Mm. So it explains the very even and uh, the even texture of the cod fish because normally, you see, um, when you shred something, it's always like using a knife and stuff like that. So this is a pretty nice. A uh, refreshing salad and sometimes dish. It is delicious. Yeah. Stay tuned for part two as we explore other Spanish dishes such as gazpacho and paella.